exactly. I'll tell you exactly what in this was. Uh, Maisie had just done the take <laughs> where she had put the uh, knife into the second eye. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. And of course, without special effects, it was just the hilt. Mm. So she just gone like uh, that into the yeah. second eye, and it was cut with her hand right there, cut. And I was on the way back to the makeup trailer to put the prosthetic on the other eye. Yeah. So that then we would come back and it would be right there and she would lift, my hand would go and like that one, the blood would go. Oh, that's so cool. So for the last seven hours oh, no. on set, I was completely blind. You were, I, you were actually I, blind? I was blind. I had prosthetics on both my eyes, Jesus. right? And I couldn't see a thing and that was really strange. What was that like? Really, really weird. I will never... Did you have to be followed? Did you have to obviously be led? Literally. Everywhere I had to be led. I had to have my cigarettes lit. I yeah. had to have my coffee given to and me. Of course, I had to find had to the ask seat. The toilet breaks. Yeah, I, 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 they got me to the door. It's like, <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> would you like me to come in? No, it's okay. I got it from here. Thank you. I, I know where I am. Thank you. No, no help required. <laughs> but it was really weird. And I mean, it's for seven hours, and it made me feel. It actually helped the scene because it made me feel so incredibly vulnerable. Yes. And I will n- never again take for granted the courage of somebody who is blind. Mm. The sheer courage that they show every day of their lives it takes my breath away. Yeah. Having experienced it, and only for seven hours. I mean, I, I was able to see again after seven hours, which yeah. was fine. But it was terrifying. Yeah. And it was, it, but it, it did, it did help scene. me. It did help me in the scene. There's no doubt about that. It helped, it helped uh, show the, the helplessness and the vulnerability. Yeah. Especially for a character who's been not helpless for a very long like I mean for, mm. since we've seen him he's very dangerous he's very oh he's an awful scumbag yeah. I mean I, I find it very very difficult to find any redeeming features about my character even from the very early days yeah but it was only this season that you saw a private side of the character and up to then yeah. I just thought he was a thug and a bully whenever I found out and whenever I got the script to uh, my scenes for episodes 9 yeah. and 10 I mean I was horrified I was genuinely horrified. I have three, dark, I have three beautiful, I have three beautiful kids at home. So the idea that this character was one of the most evil, malevolent people yeah. uh, that that could uh, treat children like this as, as a matter of pleasure and course was horrifying, yeah. and it made it very, very difficult and challenging uh, on the day on set because you know there were child actors on set and they. It's a very protective set, yeah, of course. and they were very well protected. Mm. I have to say, the three we uh, lassies, uh, Isabel, Bella, and Hattie, mm. who I was beating the, the rods, yeah. they had a great time on set. They had a really <laughs> good time, and I have a photograph of the end of the day, and they're all smiling, nobody was hit, no child was injured during the no. making of this scene, and their parents were there at all times, mm. just literally two yards away from them while we were filming. But I couldn't stand character. You know, as soon no, as he yells, cut, you have to, you have to, come on, hi, everybody back. okay? You know, you can I'll be back, <laughs> I'll see you in a minute. Take you, know, you couldn't actually do that. So it was really quite challenging, and that's, it was probably the most challenging uh, scenes I've ever had in my career. Really? Yeah, yeah. Wow. And I, I did, I mean, extremely upsetting. Uh, even though I couldn't show it to the kids, I would have, oh, sorry, I'm just going to take a break, get it's a coffee. It's going to be a while before you can show Oh yeah, any no. of that to your, like, yeah, no. Here's a, here's a TV show that was huge yes. back in the day. Here's, Dad, here's, why haven't we seen it? You better yeah. find out. Here, here's Daddy beating three lovely little angelic girls. What do you think of that? Yes. Well, then don't misbehave. Or same thing on the So yeah. I mean, a lot of people were surprised. Marin lasted a while. He did very Five well. Seasons. Yeah, he did very well. I Especially must in say. In an environment that you know he was around. Do you know what I mean? Well, I, I, I mean, I think he was a coward. Basically, I do think yeah. that he was a coward. I don't think that he would have. I remember there was quite a famous scene in uh, season two. Yeah, season two, where he's in the throne room beating on Sansa, and Tyrion comes in with Bronn, and oh, Bronn basically yeah. Tyrion says, if he opens his mouth again, Bronn kill him. Sir Merlin didn't open his mouth. Yeah. He was a coward. Yeah. Um, I, I think he was a coward. And how was it getting that role? Like, what was it like auditioning for Marin? Because obviously, like you said, you thought he was a thug, but he's I, kind of evolved. I it's... didn't audition for Marin. I auditioned yeah. for a role in season one, and I thought I'd done an absolutely fantastic audition, and I didn't get the role. Can and you say I was who? really, I can say now, now that uh, both of us They're are dead. gone. Jory Cassell. 
I auditioned for Jory Cassell. And really? I, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he obviously he uh, yeah. he blew off his mortal coil in episode five, season one, mm. whereas Sir Merlin got to run the season five. So I, I'm very, very grateful to the showrunners for casting me in it and for yeah. giving me such a, a wonderful exit and one that so far hasn't been in the books yet. No, because uh, because I can't remember because I, uh, I haven't read the books. Mm-hmm. I don't, I'm not sure whether Marin is still alive. Marin is still Marin alive. Yeah, Marin is still alive at the end of book five. Books. Yeah. Uh, R- Raph's, Raph the Sweeting, I think yeah, she I kills. Think so yeah. so um, no, Marin's still alive, but I have a very, very strong suspicion that any of the characters who died in season five yeah. that are still alive at the end of book five are will be meeting their very, maker yeah. in book six. Yeah, I mean, I've got a funny so, feeling. Do you, do you read the books? Not yet, no. and I so met George be Martin. Marin? Will you be will you be following oh, Marin's yeah. journey? In oh books? well, I'll be following him, but <laughs> I'll be following. Uh, I mean, I am going to start now that uh, I'm gone. I'm going to start reading the <laughs> books now, and uh, and I, I will actually read the first three, mm-hmm. and then I will wait. I will not read four and five until six has already Smart. come out. Okay. Smart. And you said you, you said there you met jo- you've met George Orman. I met I met him in uh, San Francisco at this season's premiere. Oh wow! And I mean it was a uh, it's 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 well actually I'm, all, I'm often awestruck and and starstruck by yeah. uh, by actors here and and writers here are my heroes, but I was completely tongue tied. I just and me tongue tied. Yeah. It doesn't often happen. <laughs> let's face it. But I was just uh, awestruck to meet him, and he was gorgeous. He was just lovely, charming. Good to hear. And paid me huge compliments about my portrayal. Thank you of for bringing my character. character to life. Yeah, I mean, you know, he he, he damn near those exact words, mm. and uh, he was very, very, very complimentary and hugely flattered, hugely flattered that you know he uh, yeah, took the time and trouble to say this, and he paid me some really, really good compliments that were some of the best compliments I've ever received as an actor. So I was very pleased um, to meet him. Ian, um, you've been an actor for uh, a, a, t- a good time. Oh, why? Yeah, a while. 20, 24, 24 years. What, yeah. What got you into acting? What was? Have you always wanted to act? Always. Kind of, Since yeah? I was the age of eight, I <laughs> wanted to be an actor. It seems and to be a thing because Eugene said the Eugene said yeah, the same thing. Yeah. He said eight as well. A, a friend of my father's in Belfast owned a circus, and oh. uh, one summer I got taken along to it, and he dressed me up as a clown and took me around to the back of the tent. His name was Jim Beck. He died recently. Uh, wonderful, wonderful man and an incredible showman. And he um, took me around to the back of the tent. He said, so you really want to be a clown? And I said, yeah, I'd love to be. And he threw me out in front of 2,000 people. So I did that for nearly four years. Wow. Every summer, every weekend. And that's where I got bitten by the bug. I did school plays and everything else. But I You're always, really those kids always. That kind of run off to the circus. I didn't have to run off to the circus. I was <laughs> taken every week. You, yeah. I was taken every week by my parents who probably couldn't wait to get rid of me for the week every <laughs> summer. So, yeah, no, it was the most wonderful experience. That's where I got bitten by the bug. Mm. That's where I got the performing bug. And I never dreamed I would be anything else. Mm. Not for a second. That's fantastic. Uh, I think acting, you know, if you want to do it and if you're lucky enough to be not bad at it, yeah. then, yeah, it's, it's just a dream. <laughs> it's, just an, it's just an absolute dream yeah. to get a chance to do it. And I've been very, very lucky. And Game of Thrones has been fantastic for yes. me. You know, it's, it's just raised my profile. It means I'm getting considered for work now that I would never have been considered for five more, or more ten period, years ago. More period stuff? Not necessarily. I mean, I, I've just finished a, a series for the History Channel called Barbarians Rising oh. that we're all very excited about. It's about the Roman Empire versus different barbarians that went against them. Oh, wow. So I'm in the storyline of Armini- Arminius, mm-hmm. the German warrior who decimated uh, the Roman uh, legions that were in his country. And I'm very, very excited about it. It was directed by Declan O'Dwyer and uh, a great director. And I'm really looking forward to that coming out. And then my next role, weirdly enough, they're making a film in Belfast called The Journey, about the journey that Ian Paisley and Martin McGuinness took from the Scots Castle to the airport and how up to that stage uh, uh, Ian Paisley had not spoken to Sinn Féin. And it was make or break time. It was okay. coming to the setting up of the of the executive and the first and deputy first minister. And it's the story of the journey that Ian Paisley and Martin McGuinness took so from the castle to the airport. It'll be quite small little bit. And I will be playing Jerry Adams. Right? I can kind of, I can kind of, the beard and the, I can, I can see it. Oh, oh, wait for it. I'd like to thank you all for coming. And this is my first taste as Jerry Adams. Thank you. So that's where <laughs> something like that. We'll see how, how it goes. That, how, that, how did that feel playing an iconic? 
I, I love playing real life. I love playing real life characters. I mean, that's, uh, I haven't. Uh, I've, I have a lot more research to do mm, yeah. on, on Jerry, but obviously, I, I, look, coming from Belfast, I have uh, followed his career mm. with interest, and especially sort of the last fifteen years since the Good Friday Agreement. Yeah. Hey, people sometimes say, you know, what's going on in Belfast at the minute? Oh, here's Stormont arguing about this. But they need to cast their mind back 20 years because 20 years ago you would not have dreamed yeah. that this would be happening now. It's such amazing steps forward, taken by men who were risking a lot more than they their were. political careers. So uh, I love playing real life characters. It, 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 you you get try and get not that often, so the odd time. Mm. And I love it because, you know, it, 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 to try and capture that person, both physically and emotionally as well. It's a real challenge, so I'm really looking forward to it. It's a great cast as well. Yeah, that just sounds so interesting that you're playing. Yeah. Uh, Timothy Spall is playing Ian Paisley. Oh, brilliant. Wonderful actor. And the irreplaceable and irrepressible Colin Meaney will be playing Martin McGuinness. Oh, brilliant. So it's a, yeah, no, it's a cracking cast. I'm really I looking mean, like forward even, to even it. Even from just like pop culture, obviously Colin Meaney, you know, you know, commitment, Star, Star Trek, Trek. Okay, Star commitments, everything. Elvis is, is God. I mean, that's just the best line I've ever heard. Yeah, yeah Colm's great. I've worked with him before. Cast. Great cast. I'm really excited about I, it. I really don't know if you can say anything it. about it. Um, is there any chance you'd be meeting Jerry? I'm not sure. I'm sure I'll bump into it at some yeah. stage. I'm sure I will. Uh, and, uh, I mean, there the would process. be. I don't think. I don't think there would be any problem if I asked for a meeting. Mm, uh, I, I'm sure he would. Yeah. He, uh, he, uh, he's a very um, charismatic, uh, charming uh, yeah, you see him on figure. Twitter, he's, you know, he's just a yep, kind of yep. on Twitter. He, he's typical, and uh, yeah, no, I'm sure there'd be no problem meeting yeah. him. But I'll be certainly doing my research and, and making sure I, I get as close to him. I hope and I think that he'll be uh, pretty That'll pleased be with the performance I've actually come yeah. out with. That's some great. Listen, Ian, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Listen, it was thank great you. interviewing you. Thank and you, you, mate. Lovely. Thanks very much uh, indeed. Right. Back to you. <laughs> See you guys.